Hello and welcome to Energy and You, the weekly update of events in Nigeria's energy sector with a focus on the activities of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited. I'm Egosa Higumbo. On this episode, encomiums pouring for the steady progress on the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano Gas Pipeline Project. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Gas, Ikberikbe Eko, rates ongoing construction a huge success. Also discussions on the vision for deregulation and gas utilization for sustainable energy takes center stage at Pengasin's 2023 Energy and Labor Summit in Abuja. Plus, Government Tech Award goes to NNPC Limited Group CEO Melekiari for exemplary leadership in digital governance. We'll bring you all the details, including the latest on the fight against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism after this timeout. Stay with us. Let's begin the program with the week's energy news from around the globe. Nigeria's oil production increased to 1.7 million barrels per day in October 2023. The oil output is 30.8% higher than the daily production of 1.3 million barrels produced in the preceding month. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Oil, Aineke Lokwobiri, told a press conference last Friday that the government's agenda was to increase crude oil production, which would scale up revenue for the country. Oil prices slipped at the start of the week after surging last week, with investors waiting to see if the Israel-Hamas conflict will draw into other countries, a development that will potentially drive up prices and deal a fresh blow to the global economy. Brent futures were last down 33 cents at $90.56 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude fell 26 cents to $87.43 a barrel. Both benchmarks climbed nearly 6% on Friday, posting their highest daily percentage gains since April, as investors priced in the possibility of a wider Middle East conflict. For the week, Brent advanced 7.5%, while West Texas Intermediate crude climbed 5.9%. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, and its EPC contractors have re-emphasized their unwavering commitment to the delivery of the strategic national infrastructure project, the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kanu AKK Gas Pipeline. Now, the commitment was re-echoed when the Minister of State Petroleum Resources Gas, Honorable Ekberiko Ekbo, toured a section of the project alongside a management team of NNPC Limited and NMDPRA. In company of the Executive Vice President Gas, Power and New Energy, or Laliko Ogunleye of NMPC Limited, and the Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, the State Minister of Petroleum Resources, Gas, Honorable Ekberikwe Epo, inspected the Pai Kuali section of the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano AKK Gas Pipeline Project. The 164-kilometer pipeline is located along Kuali Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory. The minister inspected the progress of work at the horizontal directional drilling of the Pai River crossing. Honorable Ekbo revealed that the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kano AKK gas pipeline project is significant in harnessing Nigeria's vast gas resources and driving the nation's economic prosperity. So far, I'm impressed with what has been done. The contractor has assured me that by July, August next year, the project will be completed. And when that is done, CNG that we've been preaching about will be there for us. LPG for cooking will do away with uh, biomass. So we see this um, project, AKK project, has been very, very critical. I appreciate NNPC uh, for what they have done. He commended the visionaries who conceived the AKK project, which described the project as transformative. He pointed out that energy is prosperity, and Nigeria is moving in that direction, as he was optimistic that the AKK gas pipeline project would create an enabling environment 
for investment. Represented by NMPC Limited's Executive Vice President, Gas, Power and New Energy, or Laliko Ogunleye, the group CEO of NMPC Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, also commended the federal government for its commitment to the AKK project. He stated that the project is a practical demonstration of the government's dedication to creating a gas economy and driving growth and prosperity in Nigeria. AKK is an economic prosperity project and it's an absolute priority of the GC of NMPC. And we're doing this in collaboration with the contractors, with all stakeholders, with the absolute support of the federal government. So I just want to um, congratulate Nigerians and uh, salute the federal government for the consistent support. Um, economic prosperity is on the way. The GCEO emphasized the commitment of NMPC Limited to the successful execution of the project. He noted that under his leadership, NMPC Limited has become dedicated to achieving unprecedented performance and effective delivery while ensuring the utmost regard for sound environmental practices. On his part, Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Engineer Farouk Ahmed, seized the opportunity to assure of regulatory approvals to ensure speedy delivery. He pledged the authority's support to the project in the course of fast-tracking the needed licensing for the project progression. We have the Abuja, which is in Gwagwaleda. We have the Kano, which is an industrial hub of the north. And of course, Kaduna, which is more industrial because in the past, you know, all the textile industries were whole uh, searching. Like so there are a lot of prosperity opportunities for industrialization, waiting for the energy, the energy source, which is gas. So this AKK is very fundamental. The AKK gas project is considered an economic prosperity project and a priority for NMPC Limited. The company aims to maximize the project's benefits for industrial development, not only in the northern region, but also for the entire country. The group CEO of NNPC Limited, Melikiari, says Nigeria will become a net exporter of petroleum products by 2024. He said this at the second edition of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association's Energy and Labor Summit, PELS 2023. The summit, which was organized to facilitate dialogue, collaboration, and action towards a brighter and more sustainable energy future for all, held recently in Abuja. With the theme, Petroleum Downstream Deregulation and Gas Utilization, the event attracted prominent figures from the energy industry, government officials, and other dignitaries. The Senate President, represented by Senator Jarigbe Agom Jarigbe, lauded the association's contributions to addressing national issues. I am delighted because Pegasus is not just an ordinary labor union. It is a story in dutiful patriotism and nationalism. Pegasus struck its boots, braved the odds, and responded to that call when it mattered most. Pengasin responded when the call was most strident, most compelling, most plenty. Today's event is, therefore, another bit of evidence and a reminder that Pengasin is not tired of responding to our country's call and not wary of serving our nation with heart and might. During his address at the event, Mele Kiari, the group CEO of NMPC Limited, emphasized the significance of adopting cleaner energy sources like compressed natural gas to alleviate the pressure on premium motor spirit. He also projected that Nigeria would achieve net petroleum product exports by 2024, citing that the country can leverage on the growing domestic supply for national revenue. We all know that CNG as an automobile fuel is very effective, it's cheaper, it's cleaner, and that is why we are putting enormous effort, both as NMPC Limited and as government, to ensure that we scale up access to CNG so that people will have alternative uh, fuel that they can do. And that will bring down the pressure on the PMS. Companies are engaging, partners are coming up looking for gas, and of course, uh, as you do this, you know, it is also part of the benefits of the regulation and that is why people are saying that, look, I can create gas, it can be a little more expensive than what it is today, but I can make money from it. Otherwise, when people see cheap PMS, there is no way you can even have growth in the, in the gas sector. They are all connected. And therefore, 
for our country, what we need today is to readjust our realities. But what we must achieve is that this country must be a net exporter of petroleum products. And this is within sight. The chief host of the summit and the president of Pengasan, Comrade Festus Osifo, in his speech outlined the challenges and opportunities within the energy sector. The removal of PMS subsidies and current state of our refineries are of paramount importance, touching the lives of every Nigerian. These are intricate challenges that demand comprehensive solutions, balancing our economic viability and the well-being of our populace. It is incumbent upon us to drive positive change, foster economic growth, and ensure our people's prosperity. NMPC Limited and Pengasan, as leading entities in the oil and gas sector, are committed to advancing initiatives that enhance the well-being and livelihood of all stakeholders. Let's go over to the oil producing regions of the country for an update on the successes recorded in the fight against crude oil theft by NNPC Limited. Across the Niger Delta, the war on crude oil theft is on and the industry-wide security collaboration continues to record remarkable progress. In the past week, 205 incidences were recorded across the Niger Delta in Ohaji Egwema in Imo State, Ugeli, Bomadi and Sapele in Delta State. Vehicles conveying sacks of crude oil, most of which were concealed in cement bags, were arrested and their content confiscated. 55 vehicle arrests were made between the 7th and 13th of October 2023. Within that period, 18 cases of pipeline vandalism were also recorded. In Omoko River State, a truck was arrested with vandalized pipes. The war on crude oil theft is no walk in the park. Also in River State, a disconnected illegal connection to a wellhead was reconnected two days after. So we need to shut it down. They have connected another horse that went out. Just day before yesterday, we removed all this thing and shut down this well, and they have reopened it again. In Ajatito Delta State, the vandals returned hours after the disconnection and destruction of a boat used for stealing crude to commence their activities. They have connected another house to the wellhead and are about to load another boat. Look at the boat over there. Look at the boat over there. That is your boat that we are about to load again this evening. Bags of crude oil can be seen here at the base of an oil wellhead. 62 cases of illegal connections to oil pipelines were recorded in Delta State, Bielsa and Imo State. For the oil thieves, debt is not a barrier. They are willing to dig deep to steal the nation's resources, as seen here in Sagbarubene in Bayelsa State. Several illegal connections were uncovered across several swamps in the Niger Delta region. In Abia State, a massive oven used for illegal refining is being destroyed by Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited, a private security contractor in charge of the Eastern Corridor. The story is the same in rivers Bayelsa and Delta State, where several illegal refining businesses were brought to a halt. 51 illegal refineries were discovered in the past week. Six wooden boats conveying stolen crude were apprehended this week in River State, Delta, Imo and Bayelsa States. 
Eight of these incidents took place in the deep blue water, 48 in the western region, 95 in the central region, and 53 in Nigeria's eastern region. For NNPC Limited, there is no backing down on the war on crude oil theft until the menace is eradicated for good. It's time now for a short break, but there will be more energy stories when we return. Please stay. I'm Dr. Henry Adibuale Adimula, the principal and chief executive of the foremost Petroleum Technological Institute in the Gulf of Guinea, Sub-Saharan Africa, the Petroleum Training Institute. It gives me great delight to welcome you to our third biennial International Conference on Hydrocarbon Science and Technology, the theme of which is the future of the oil and gas industry, opportunities, challenges, and development. Date, 23rd to 24th, October 2023, venue, PTDF Towers, Central Business District, Abuja. Special guest of honor, Honorable Eneken Okopuri, Honorable Ekweripe Eko, Ambassador Gabriel Tanimo Aduda, Keynote Speaker, Dr. Farouk Ibrahim. I look forward to welcoming you at this conference. See you there. Exemplary leadership through distinguished public service reforms has been recognized and celebrated as the Bureau of Public Service Reforms recently awarded the National Oil Company, NNPC Limited, and its group CEO, Milikiari, the prestigious 2023 Nigeria GovTech Awards for Advancing Technological Initiatives for Better Service Delivery. Take a look. The 2023 Nigeria GovTech Conference and Awards organized by the Bureau of Public Service Reforms brought together industry leaders, organizations and distinguished individuals to discuss crucial issues related to transforming public service practices for national development. The theme for this year's conference is Advancing is Public amazing. Service Reforms Through so Digital Transformation. On the sidelines of the conference, awards were given to organizations and individuals in the public sector who have been recognized for excellence in the delivery of the mandates. NNPC Limited and its group CEO were among the distinguished individuals and public sector organizations nominated for two significant awards. First, the company emerged the best federal government agency digital initiatives in the re-engineering of government processes. Also, the group CEO of NNPC Limited, Mr. Melekiari, was honored with the Distinguished GovTech Trailblazers Award for exemplary leadership demonstrated in advancing GovTech initiatives and digital governance within the National Oil Company, which is in line with the federal government's digital transformation in public sector. In recognition of his exemplary leadership in advancing digital governance, Dr. Dasuki Arabi, Director General of the Bureau of Public Service Reform, emphasized the need for celebrating individuals and organizations that have raised the bar by adopting IT solutions to enhance efficiency, improve access to government data and services, prevent corruption, and empower citizens to hold public officials accountable. The award aims to celebrate public officials and government institutions working towards the common goal of supporting of tech innovation, encouraging applications from projects that facilitate GovTech enterprises, entrepreneurship, support innovative processes, convey GovTech ecosystem. I specifically congratulate you for being recognized for your notable achievements on these innovative solutions you initiated to improve your governance process and provide better quality of service that will improve the quality of life of the citizens of this country. On behalf of Mele Kiari, the Chief Technology Officer NNPC Limited, Mr. Olakule Oshobu, expressed his gratitude to the Bureau for recognizing NNPC Limited and the group CEO himself with such meritorious awards. He commended the leadership prowess of Dr. Arabi in advancing world-class best practices in the Federal Civil Service. We know the importance of technology in business because technology makes you nimble. 
technology makes you efficient. And to the glory of God today, our president is also a technology man. DJ, thank you very much. The awards received by NNPC Limited and its group CEO depicts the company's commitment to leveraging technology and digital initiatives for effective business operations and improved service delivery. And that's where we end the show tonight. We hope you have enjoyed watching as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. If you've missed any part of the show or past episodes, you can catch up by scanning the QR code on your screen now. You can also visit us on all our social media handles and follow us for updates on the activities of NNPC Limited. Let's do this again next week, same station. Thank you for watching. I'm Evosa. See you again.